hi guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can send emails using django so i have this project here created and it's just a demo project i just created it and i named it send emails and i also created a django app and i just named it app so in this project we're going to be using the send email function to send mails so you might want to use this for different cases like let's say you want to confirm an email once a user sign up to your website or you want to reset a password and you want to send the user a particular code or something like that so you might just there are plenty of various times you want to use the send email function so let me show you how to do this the first thing we want to do is to configure our urls endpoint so right here in the project we have just this url first of all let's import include and once we have include imported let's just have a new path that is going to the home and then let's include from app dot urls so let's copy all this for now we don't have any app dot urls so let's go into app let's create a new file named urls.py and let's paste this so right here we can just remove include and uh, we don't need admin for this so i believe that you should have a basic knowledge of django before taking this tutorial because i believe that you're already experienced with working with django so what we want to do now is first of all import views And now we can say views dot home and let's give it a name of home so we can save this and we can just come to the views dot py and let's have a new function and let's name it home and it should take a request and let it just return render request and then we can say home.html so this should be in processes so now we can save this and then we are using the templates function so we should have our templates configured since we are trying to render an html file but right here we don't have any template so let's just quickly do that come into settings.py first of all in installed apps let's add app to the installed apps and then in templates we just say base there slash templates so now that we have this let's just come to the root directory create a new folder and name it template and in there we can create that home.html file and right here we can just create a simple boilerplate and name it send mails. And right here we can just say email sent. That's what is gonna be in the HTML page. And then we have all this configured. And right here is also good. So let's just run this and test it out. So right now we have not yet added the send mail function we've never configured that at all we are just setting up our project for the template file the urls endpoint and those basic stuffs so this command line pythonmoney.py run server is just to run your project on your local host so i'm just going to wait for that to run and then we're going to come into our browser so this temp mail is just a temporary temporary email and this is the email which I'm going to be sending a mail to just to test what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's open a new tab first of all. And then in this new tab, we can run our Django project. So let's see if it has. Okay, so our Django project is running. And then let's run it here. And just make sure everything is fine before we move on. So it just shows this email sent. Everything is fine. So let me explain why we just wrote email sent. So this is just 
a static text that I just put there. Uh, normally, when you're working with real world projects, what you're gonna do is to get a response from your server and then print out that response if it's a failure, if the attached file is too large, or if it was a success. So we don't just add code it, but because we're just testing it, I'm just introducing you to how you can use this. That's why I just add coded that email sent. So the next thing now is to come into our settings.py. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom right here. And then what we need to do is to just specify or configure some things for our email. So the first thing we want to configure is email underscore backend. So email backend is gonna be django.core.mail dot mail dot backends dot smtp so i'm using gmail and gmail use an host of smtp so you may be using any other mailing service or any other host so if you are using like yahoo or you are using like outlook you can just go to the official documentation and i'm gonna see how you can configure this so it's basically the same settings it's just different configuration that will go into the values after this, the next thing is just to specify the email host. So this is the host I was talking about. Mine is smtp.gmail.com. And this should be quotes. After specifying the host, the next thing is to specify email use underscore TLS. And we want that to be true. The next one is the email port. And the email port will be 587. And then email underscore host underscore user. So this is my own email address. So I'm going to be using this email address since it's hosted on Google on Gmail. So this is the email address I'm going to be using. And then one more thing we need to specify is the password. So email post password. So in here is going to be the password for this particular Gmail that you're doing. So I already have this password specified somewhere down below the file. I'm not going to show that just for security reasons. So I'm just going to comment that out. I already have it specified. At the bottom of the file so now we can just save this since we have all this configured now that we have this done we can come into our views.py and use that particular function from the django mail so django has a default function which allows us to easily send mails you can say from django.core.mail import send underscore mail so this send mail is going to allow us to easily send mails and you're going to see how we're going to do that. So right in this function, we're just going to run the send mail function, just like we run normal functions, but it takes some parameters, it takes some attributes. So as you can see here, the first thing it takes is the subject of the mail, that's the title, then the message, that's the actual body of that mail. From email, that means the person that is sending, and the recipient list and then fill silently we don't really need all these this is the one we're just going to be using for this video so the subject of the email we can say a sending from good with tommy tut tutorial you should write that in full so that is the subject of the email and then we're just gonna have a comma and then the next thing is gonna be the actual body i this mail is coming from a tutorial and then the next thing we want to specify is the host address that means the address of me that i'm sending this mail so i'm just gonna input that all right here i'm just gonna press to make sure that's correct and the last thing is 
the list of recipients i'm sending this to so this is going to be a list because i might want to send it to more than one people more than one person so to get this let's go back to that temporary mail and let's just copy it so right now you can see that the inbox is empty when uh, we do this you'll see that it's going to send a mail in there so this is the mail we are using and the last thing we want to add is fail silently so if if it fails that means if it doesn't send we want it to tell us that there was something happened we don't want it to just fail silently and we don't know what happened so we have to set this to false so if it fails silently set it to false okay that's a wrong spelling false so now that we have all this done that's pretty much it so we're using the send mail function we are specifying the subject the body person's coming from and uh, the list of people who are sending it to so if i'm sending it to more than one person i can just add a comma like that add a comma but i'm not doing that in this video so let's just stick to send it to one person so now let's test this out when we come here now and run this page let's see okay so it just says email sent it didn't give us any error so remember that we set for fail silently to false that means if there's any error it should show us but since it didn't show us any error that means that email should have been sent successfully and let's go back to that mailings temporary mailing service and check it says your inbox is empty let's refresh and let's see let's give that a moment to just refresh so as you can see it has received the mail Tokyo Tommy and a sending from code with Tommy tutorial which was the subject we gave it here is sending from code with Tommy tutorial let's go back and make sure so i this mail is coming from a tutorial if we go back you see it says i this mail is coming from a tutorial so this is just how you can easily send mails using django so as i said earlier in this video there are a lot of use cases for this there are a lot of times you want to use this for example let's say you are building an e-learning platform where a user is like an online school so if a user watch a video or take a course and finish the course you might want to send the certificate to the user's email or you might want to congratulate the user for finishing the course or various things various things you can think about as a developer you're going to need this and let's just make sure everything is good and working so we specify the send email we imported it we configured it right here those are the major two things the rest of the things we did were just normal django project setup so as you can see we have all this done and thank you once again for watching another video of mine and if you have any questions drop it down in the comments i'll be sure to answer all questions i'll see you in the next one